to keep your finances on track this season, make a holiday budget, and then guess what? Stick to it. Bruce Celery is your guy to help us out with this. Bruce, you know what? We've heard this about making a budget. Yes. Um, part of the problem is we don't stick to it. Part of the problem is we're not actually making one. So let's start with, should we all? Do we all have to do this? No. Oh, good. We do not all have to do oh, a holiday good. budget. So, so I don't you, have to make one. You don't have to. No one has to do anything, first of all. <laughs> if you want to get a better handle on your money, if you yes. want to deal with the credit card hangover, if you want to simplify your life, do a holiday budget. Mm -hmm. I don't do a holiday budget. Got it. I don't do a holiday budget because mostly I give people as gifts like an old copy of People magazine. That's kind of <laughs> how I roll, not really, but sorry. Uh, or if you're Lady Gaga and you're like, you can't imagine her doing a holiday budget like $100 for Bradley Cooper and a gift card for Amy Schumer. Like, she's not going to do that. Right. So I don't think everybody needs to do it. But if you want to get a better handle on your money, Absolutely, it's a great method. Okay, good. That's the realness. Yeah. Just do it if you want to be on top of things yeah. and if you feel like you need one. What are the steps? If Number one, one, you want to write everything down. Write everything down. So this includes clothing, entertainment, decor, travel, mm -hmm. gifts, charity, and a buffer. Include New Year's Eve. Because some people, mm -hmm. New Year's Eve is a big, big blowout. If you're like me and you're sitting at home watching the ball drop and your PJs eating seven layer dip, you don't have to put a big dollar figure on that because <laughs> it's not going to be an expensive night for you. Right. But sitters and all that stuff. Then you're going to put numbers beside all of that okay. and total it up. Just total it all up. Finally, you'll make some trade-offs because you'll look at the total and you'll be like, oh, my God, I got it. So cut things. You can you get the like who's this Aunt Sheila person? I don't know if I like her. I'm not getting her anything. She's getting bupkis this year. That's it. I'm not gonna take her off the list. Right. Uh, or you could say I'm gonna increase my income in some way or cut expenses in some other area. You can. You can take on a, an extra part-time job if, yeah. if the holidays are your thing and you need to buy more gifts. Yeah. How accurate do we need to be in the budget? It doesn't have to be accurate. Oh, You're good. not budgeting the International Space Station here. This right. is not billions of dollars. So the most important thing is that you have a number. Mm -hmm. I don't even care what the number is. Yeah. Some family that number is some families that number is a thousand dollars. Some families that number is ten thousand dollars because they're going to an all-inclusive in Mexico. Or so mm -hmm. I know you want to be a part of that family. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it really doesn't matter what the number is. Just have a number as a starting point. Okay. The second thing is know how you're going to pay for it because as we all talk about. Like these credit card bills arrive, and we think, what happened? I don't know what happened. You were there when this happened because you could chinged it. Like this was you. Your car credit card was not stolen. This was you. So know how you're going to pay for it. Are you going to cut back on clothing in the new year? Whatever. Now here's a little bonus tip. Tell no one. My bonus tip uh -huh. is set up an automatic withdrawal mm -hmm. now for every single month until next holiday season, mm -hmm. so the money's already there. Yes. Do that right now. So say you're gonna spend you know, $2,400 next year, $200 a month goes into a separate bank account, yes. and then it's just there. Not to say you won't miss the 200 bucks, yes. you will. But then you're not going to be dealing with credit card debt. Yeah, a lot of us do that for vacations. Why not do that for the holidays yeah. if it's a big time of year? Um, here's a hard one. How do we stick to uh, the budget? Yeah, so if people can get it together to even do one, yeah. first carry the list with you. So go to the stores. If you sit down on your computer to shop online, look at the list. This okay. isn't the theoretical. Like the money list. The money list. So okay. I'm going to spend this, this, and this, except for Aunt Sheila. Yeah. I'm going to spend this, this, and this. <laughs> Second thing is print out your credit cards from last year. Grab your statement from November and December and yeah. look at them, maybe even carry them with you. Because what you'll realize, what I put in my Christmas decorations is everything that I bought. So I do a holiday mm -hmm. debrief, what worked, what didn't work, and everything that I bought. And I eyeball the list and I think, oh, huh, that was really ridiculous. Why did I buy that? Because we don't talk about it. We don't use it. It didn't have utility through the year. And other yes. things like, oh, that was a really good gift. Get more of that. So right. keep those credit cards with you. Uh, how do you stick with it? Prohibit the one for you and one, one for, for me. Because a lot of they're laughing. They're like, yeah, I totally, I totally he's got my that. number. I totally do that. And then lastly, know thyself. So how do you stick yeah. to a budget? Know thyself. We all have, we've talked about this many times, we all have a limited number of units of willpower. That's so don't right. use yours up. All, you know, if you're, uh, if you're best to shop in the morning, shop in the morning. If yeah. you're best to shop with a friend, bring a friend. Don't take a friend. Just know thyself. I mean, mm -hmm. we know how we work. You know 
what you we know. know what you got. Know. You know yeah. what your bandwidth is. We know what our bandwidth is. If you're sharing that uh, credit card with someone else, um, you have to have a conversation about it, don't you? Absolutely. So because if sure you the best laid the plans, page. right? You've done this whole list. You yeah. did all everything that Bruce said, and then your spouse is like, "Oh, I just spent two thousand dollars on this." Way. I was like, <laughs> "Don't do that." So talk about the budget. Focus on what you buy and not just the price you pay for it, because okay. the marketers are so smart. They're like, 50 percent off, 60 percent off." Well, I'll give you 100 percent off. Don't buy the thing. <laughs> don't buy the thing. It's 100 percent off. It's free. You just don't right. get the thing. Right. Uh, be extra vigilant shopping online. And here's one crazy tip, which I would say like one in a million people will follow, but it's amazing. Okay. Holiday shopping with cash. Shop oh. with cash. Don't get mugged on the way to the mall because no. that's bad. But shop with cash because yeah. if you've got that like $500 in your wallet, every single penny counts. When yes. you're paying with a credit card or debit card, you're like, it doesn't hurt enough. Yeah, it doesn't hurt it enough. It needs to hurt shop a with bit. cash. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Uh, you can find more of Bruce's financial tips and advice on money sense. Thank you very much, Mr. Celery.